Hello, this is Sergey from Propersoft and today I will show you how to use a PDF to Cubo converter. If you don't have it downloaded yet, you can download from propersoft.net, go to products, then go to PDF to Cubo and then click download and select whether you want Windows or Mac download. Once downloaded and installed, start PDF to Cubo. Uh, it will show you welcome screen with some important details yeah, that you should be aware of. Next step, uh, the converter asks you to select a PDF file to convert. I'm going to use some sample PDF file. And this is how PDF file looks like. It has some deposits, it has some uh, check, checks, it has uh, some other withdrawals. And so when you load a PDF file, uh, first examine how transactions are parsed and the dates are correct, the amounts correct, uh, descriptions expected, check numbers present, all this stuff. Now if you want to, if you want to parse specific pages, you can set pages from and to. If you have large PDF file, you want to convert it in parts, let's say specific months or specific year, then you can specify pages from and to can specify password, you can specify in which format dates are coming. Usually this is not required, but in some cases it is required. If you have scanned or image-based PDF file or protected, you can use this OCR option and you, you have to select resolution. Uh, some statements are parsed better with lower resolution, some statements are parsed better with high resolution. So do you will see that if you have several statements to convert, once you have once you have it figured out for first statement, other statements should follow similar pattern. So if you change anything here, then you have to click at the apply button to re to restart the parser. When you review transactions, make sure the dates are correct, year is correct, um, expenses are negative and payments to the account are positive. If you have statement like coming from December to January and the parser should be able to figure out year change and adjust year for those dates, December dates and the January dates to have different year. If it does not, you can quickly adjust it, select first transaction for the previous year, select last transaction for previous year, and then right click and do year minus to adjust the year quickly. And so next thing, you can edit anything you want on this, on these transactions, on, on past transactions. So let's say you want to do this, you can edit it here. And you may also use renamings to rename names from one name to another. Uh, so you can rename, uh, uh, let's say, Home Depot 123 to Home Depot and things like that. If you don't want to type here, you can right click, let's say, and then you say Add Pay to Pay Mapping. Uh, next thing, if you see that all transactions have run here, you can you can adjust the year here. If you see that all transactions are deposits instead of withdrawals, you can adjust it here. If you want to adjust specific group of transactions to be withdrawal instead of deposits, then you can select them and right click and do change plus minus. You can deselect any transaction you don't want to be included in PDF file. And if the PDF file has post date, you can use it if you like. And so now this is about that, that transaction content. And next step is about 
QBO file. So uh, the PDF to QBO, QBO converter provides option to convert to PDF, sorry, to QBO and to CSV. Why would you want to convert to CSV? Um, let's say if you want to work with transactions uh, outside the converter. And but the main, the main format is QBO file, so we will focus on that in this tutorial. So each QBO file requires account ID, which is number, digits only. And so once when you convert transact, when you convert statements for one account, so use same account ID. Once you go, once you're ready to go to another account. Make sure to change the account ID. Another setting is checking. Oh, sorry, account type. So make sure to set the account type to match what you have in QuickBooks. Then the currency must be US dollars for QuickBooks US edition. You can set bank ID, branch ID. Uh, for QuickBooks, it's not required. You have to set into bit as um, a bank label for allowed bank and if you click the lookup button you will see the list of banks and so some banks are not allowed as you see some numbers some banks are allowed for all account types so make sure it's if you convert for credit card make sure that credit card is allowed for the bank you're selecting. You can search by number, you can search Wells Fargo, you can search by name, you can search by another name. As you see, uh, so there's several Capital One. You can select this one for credit card, you can select this one for checking account. This is no more than bank account label. You can have completely different bank bank name, bank label inside QuickBooks. It really does not matter. Um, you will choose the account you want to import your data during the, f the first QBO import in QuickBooks. So now there's some other settings like end balance. If you like, you can set it. There is some deterministic references. Uh, these are for advanced cases. And if you just want to convert your transactions, you don't have to pay attention to any of this. And the last thing is open after save. So what it means that the parcel will ask QuickBooks or the application on your computer that is set to be application for QBO files to open created QBO file. So some users prefer this as streamlined workflow that when you open PDF file, you click convert, click QBO file is created and passed right away to QuickBooks. So QuickBooks start, in, start importing it right away. In our case, we will not do that, and you will see for yourself which which process or which option is better for you when you just when you see QuickBooks starting right away, or you want to save it. Uh, f let's say if you have QuickBooks online, then the converter cannot start QuickBooks online for you, so it will just save the file, and then you go to QuickBooks online, and then you click. You, you know, upload statement and select created QBO file. So now the most important part, you have to click the convert button to create a QBO file. So what you do is you have to conform the file name, you have to conform the file location, and then you have to click save to have your QBO file created. And now you, you're ready to switch to QuickBooks to import your QBO file. We We'll have different tutorial that focuses just on QBO file import because there is some important details 
like different scenarios how would you port Kubo file on existing account on new account and this is better suitable for separate tutorial please look for separate tutorial uh, uh, at the description to this video thank you for watching please subscribe